Hey guys, this is Miss Orloquin, and in this video, we're just going to do a very quick look at a close reading question that many students struggle with. It is a close reading question that asks you to look at the way a part of a text, either a sentence, a line, a paragraph, to look at the way that section contributes to the overall text. Now, this type of question is a little complex because it's an analysis question. Analyzing text means that you're going to look closely at a text. So when we analyze and we look closely, we're looking at first what the text means. That's the most basic of all um, questions. You always have to know what the text means. That's the gist. But then you need to go a little deeper. Once you know what the text means, you have to look at how the author communicates that message or that meaning. How's the author, in other words, developing their ideas? So basically, all of this means we're looking at author's craft. When you look at author's craft, you're looking at what techniques the author is using and trying to figure out why the author used those techniques. How does the use of those techniques help the author develop, again, their message, their central idea, their theme? All right, so questions like this, um, which ask you to look at author's craft and the way sections contribute, would be written possibly like these sample questions on the screen. You might have a question that says, how do the details about blank in these lines? So, for example, it might be, how do the details about the love potion in paragraph one contribute to the development of the story? How do the details about um, the pyramids of Egypt in lines five through ten contribute to the development of the article? The question could also look like this. How does paragraph four contribute to the overall message of the article? So these are basically still the same questions. Here they're talking about the development of the article, so they want to know how the central idea is developed. And here they're talking about the message, which is just another way of saying central idea. Another example might be like this. This comes from the 2015 New York State ELA exam for sixth graders. There was a passage called Goo Fighters, and the short response question was, how does the story of Jim and Debbie Hodges experience in lines 1 through 18 contribute to the article. So in that article, the first few paragraphs, lines 1 through 18, was an anecdote about Jim and Debbie Hodges, and it was the way the author introduced the invention um, of barricade gel, the goo. All right, so now how do we approach these types of questions? Well, there is some steps you can follow. You have to be very systematic about it. The first thing you want to do, obviously, is look at the part of the text that the question is referring to. So that's the close reading. Go back and reread. As you're rereading, you want to give yourself a focus. So you really want to figure out what you're learning about the main topic of the passage from that one section. If the passage is about world wonders, what are you learning about world wonders in that one section? You want to actually kind of compare it to parts of the text that come before or parts of the text that come after. So if it's a paragraph or line in the middle of the text, ask yourself, is this section continuing on an idea from the previous section, from the previous paragraph, or from the previous sentence? Or is this now an introduction to something new? Maybe the previous paragraph talked about the history of the topic, and now this new paragraph is going into the future of the topic. Or maybe this paragraph is talking about the description of how this topic works. Finally. You want to think about how this particular section, line, paragraph, whatever, helps the author develop their central idea. So obviously you have to know what the central idea of the text is. So if the central idea, let's say we're reading an article about global warming, that was a topic, and the central idea of that article is that global warming is bad, then how does that paragraph help show me that, help communicate the overall idea that global warming is bad? All right, so that's the basic way that I would tackle questions like this. And as always, the best way to really become an expert on this is just to practice, practice, practice. You can really take any passage and try to answer one of these model questions. You can even make up your own. So you can just come up with how does and replace paragraph four with whatever paragraph you want to look at. How does this paragraph contribute to the overall message of the article? And if you can start to train yourself into doing that, you get more and more comfortable with these types of questions.